Do you get parts knocked off while printing? If so, then one of the reason could be due to insufficient cooling while fast printing for overhang speed. Hi, Remy here. And in this video, we shall see the difference in speed for overhangs. So what is overhang? While the filament is laid midair, that is, there isn't any any previous layer or filament or some kind of support underneath while it is printing and is not bridging between two points is called overhang printing. As you can see in this picture, the nozzle will start to print from this position, travel here, then make the travel move here and then over here. While it is printing, in this area, there isn't anything beneath it to support. So this, when it lays over here, is called overhang printing. So what happens when you print fast and you don't have sufficient cooling? So this is how the filament will curl. So this is due to inadequate cooling while you are printing fast. So it doesn't have sufficient time to cool down as you can see over here. So if you print fast, you have to have a very good cooling system so that the filament when it is laid, it gets enough time to cool and not to curl up like this. So over here, this part, you can see it has curled. That's because of insufficient cooling. This could be one of the reason for the parts to knock off when the nozzle return back to this position. Now let's see the uh, speed setting for overhang. In the top I have set the printing speed to 90 and for the bottom the speed is set to 15. As of recording this video I am using Orca Slicer 1.8.1. .1. Load your test print and then navigate to speed and under overhang you will see overhang speed and that is 75 to 100%. So this is the speed setting that we are going to uh, alter to get a uh, reasonable overhangs, uh, overhang printing. So now we'll slice the model and see the actual printing speed. Once you slice the model, you'll be presented with this screen. Come over here, this line type, click on this button and select speed. Let's uh, lower the layer height to around 33. Now this is the overhang speed over here. This is the overhang. The speed over here is determined by the slicer even though we set it to 90. So it depends on the amount of uh, travel it has to do and also uh, on the uh, acceleration speed uh, that is being set. Now we'll change this to 15 and see the speed difference. We'll slice it. Now if you see this particular thing is printed at uh, at 10. So 10 uh, mm per second. Now we'll see the actual print for the overhang. Now look at the area where the nozzle is printing at the overhang area on both the sides. So when it is printing for at the overhang, the overhang air printed area will curl. That shows that it has uh, inadequate cooling and it is printing fast than what is actually required. Please note, cooling should be enabled only for filament that require cooling unlike ABS. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do let me know in the comments about your likes and dislikes. Goodbye and take care.